Hey everyone, welcome back to Ultimate General Civil War. Uh, yeah, so we just finished up, um, what was it, Malvern Hill, I think? We're on to Kettle Run on the battle map, and we've gone ahead and replenished all our units here. And um, so we're going to, we've got to bring in seven units to this. I, do, I don't know exactly what to expect. Probably going to go with mostly infantry, but, but I've been thinking... Uh, I want to start using more artillery. I think a lot of the losses, like just the last battle, if we had cannons behind those front lines when they charged like that, they probably would have been blasted and repelled. And so I feel like we need to get more cannons and maybe better cannons. Uh, so we might do that. Um, these long-range cannons here... Um, you know, I feel like I feel like they do a pretty good job. Uh, I think they might be more important later. But these six pounders, I kind of feel like let's replace them with maybe Napoleons or maybe something even nastier. Let's see. Um, what is our firearms level? Is 42. This is our better brigade here. have really good accuracy um if we may um yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure let's take a look at some of these cannons here deals great damage from medium range powerful cannon designed for long range parrot yeah. rifled gun Offers good accuracy at all ranges. Damage 41. What's the howitzer do? 75. Wow. It's close to double the damage of the James. If anyone out there's got tips for uh, artillery, fire them at me. I'd love to hear them. Medium and short range devastation. Okay. We may go with some Napoleons. I'll tell you what, they we're going to swap these six pounders out for Napoleons. You know, we've got ten of them laying around already. So, all right, it looks like we spent about twenty thousand. I wasn't really paying attention. So yeah, I don't. We'll probably add some more artillery here. Um, I'm not really sure, but <clears throat> I just feel like, uh, yeah, I think the key going forward is going to be having uh, effective artillery. And I noticed in that last fight we were able to fire through our front lines, so I think we should probably use more artillery directly behind our front lines. And if not, we can kind of like try to wedge them in between. Uh, wherever our line infantry are lined up. So, anyway, uh, 10 pound, 12 pound. All right, let's get. Uh, we need to get our unit size down to seven. Let's just take a look real quick at uh, Kettle Run. I think it is right. Yeah, Kettle Run. And we've got seven brigades, and it says the rebels have bypassed our defensive line along. Rapin Shanek River to strike our supply line. Yule's division has been spotted at Kettle Run. Lead a division to attack and dislodge the rebels from their position. The rest of your army is needed to move into Man to Manassas Junction. All right, so. Looks like they've got 12,000 soldiers. Almost 13,000. So... I don't think this is the right situation for cannons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's say we're going to bring some of these cavalry as well. Actually, you know what? We're not even going to do that. One, two, three, four. Oh took out too many. Uh, do we have any I'm looking for um, palmettos, but doesn't look like we have any remaining. All right, let's take just anybody. I want to mm. 
That ought to do her. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, let's go to the battle map. And get this thing started. All right, going to get 8,800 troops for a, a victory. Hopefully we can keep this as clean as possible and get our get our uh, numbers up. Oh, yeah, one other thing is I went and upgraded my, uh, you know, with, with the two points we got from the success of the, the battle. Um, I went ahead and got two more points into politics. So that's another 5% towards gold and towards units. And now I think politics is maxed out to 10, so we'll be distributing those to other places now. So Yule has deployed his division east of Kettle Run. Attack the rebels and dislodge them. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory. So how do we want to approach this? You know, this looks like a hill here. So I think I'd like to use this hill. What is this? Open area. Can't see. It's all black on my screen. Open area. Probably try to get to these trees up here. So we'll have a couple, few, few units peel around here. Maybe four, four units peel around here. Then we'll have uh, the other three push forward through here. See if we can't pinch them. So let's get um, these elites, more elites, and some. Mm, yeah, we'll get the palmettos there. And then we'll send. That looks good. These four up this way. We've got Commander YouTube who will be with these. And our supply truck, I think, is going to stay here. All right. Let's do this. Um, <laughs> you never get this. Oh my god! All right, something like that. We'll get these guys up in this area. So I'm not, not entirely sure what to expect here. We don't have a lot of cover on the approach. I'm sure they're going to be in here. You know, so... <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe we can uh, get these guys in this area and then hopefully push down with these guys pressing this way. And that should give us a flank. And hopefully get them routed, because all we need to do is capture that flag. We don't need to kill them all or anything like that. So. A little nervous about cresting this ridge here. Okay, some cannons. Not sure what they were. I guess they were shooting here, but not even close. Looks like they got their cannon somewhere in this area. Well, I 
can we not hit these guys? Why are these guys not firing at them? I don't understand. My palmettos get up here. Actually, no, don't do that. <laughs> Still got just under an hour left, so we're not uh, we're not too far away from where we need to be here. Get a good volley off on him. What was that? Brigadier General Randall Page is wounded. Okay, well, at least he's not dead.
Yeah, so things are going pretty smooth here. I know these uh, skirmishers are going to come back here in a minute and start shooting us in the back, but until then, we'll just keep pushing them back as best we can. These must be those same skirmishers. They must have gone around. I'm not entirely sure, but... I don't know. There they come up the rear. You guys go deal with them. Well, we can't charge. We're exhausted. I don't know. Oh, I know. They're going here. Forgot about this stuff. Whoops. Had a brigadier general just get killed. That's no good. Where the hell are you guys going? Looks like that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and end it. Well, that was quick and easy. Uh, victory, Kettle Run, 1,500 losses to 4,200. They lost 10 guns. We lost none. We didn't have any. We had no CO, apparently. Captured our goals, our units, about 2 to 1 on Elite Riflemen, 7 to 1 or so on. Pretty good. Um, Yep. Say okay, officers. Yeah. So we lost John Tower. I don't know what he was in charge of, but he's dead. And Ramon Jenkins got promoted. He captured a few guns. Nothing major. Uh, wasn't a lot on the field to capture. So. So yep. 150,000 and 8,800 troops. That puts us in a pretty good shape here considering we only lost 1,400 or so guys. Um, I'm just curious here. Our next uh, fight is, or not our next, but our next big fight is 
second bull run. I'm just curious what they have, and uh, so they're going to bring 62, th oh no, 6,200 soldiers? That can't be right. That must, that number's got to go up. 6,000 soldiers, right? We can bring all this stuff, and then only, si hmm. Not really sure what to think about that. That that's you know, <clears throat> very small numbers. Um, I don't know. Uh, we'll figure it out. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and call it here, and uh, we'll pick it up at the next fight, which I think is Thoroughfare Gap. And uh, thanks for everybody for watching, and uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you in the next one.